friends. Who doesn't love grilled cheese? And I've got a grilled cheese with a twist, so let's get cracking. I've got myself a French stick or a baguette, and I'm just going to slice it. I've got two chopsticks, one either side, just to stop me cutting all the way through. I'm just going to do that all the way down until we get to the end. Just pause it some. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave each like a little gap, but I'm going to basically stack it with, I've got a load of uh, bacon that I've grilled up and chopped up. I'm just going to put them in every other one. So when we serve it, I'll cut through each end. So uh, one again, and that, that way it'll give you like a little grilled cheese sandwich. So there, I'm going to stack them up. Pause it some. I'm going to put a load of grated cheddar into each bit. So we get to the end. A load of uh, mozzarella as well, just for that stringiness. Right, so that's what we've ended up with. We've got this baguette stuffed full of cheese and ham. So now what I'm going to do, got a piece of uh, foil. And now what I'm going to do, I've made a cheese sauce, a cheddar cheese sauce. I've been quite thick and I'm just going to pour it over the top. I'll leave a link for the cheese sauce video in the description. Yeah. I am as well. I've never done it before. It's an idea that I thought of a while ago. And I've just never got around to doing it. So, yeah, there you go. Cheese sauce. Just colour it out a bit. And then into there, I've got a load of finely chopped ham, which I'm just going to sprinkle on. This could go one of two ways, friends. It could be absolutely amazing or absolute rubbish. But I'm pretty much banking on it being amazing. I hope so. Then any cheese that's left on there, just knock onto it. Maybe a bit more. This has to be the ultimate grilled cheese. A bit more mozzarella. A bit more cheddar. And now I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to put it into the oven, I think, for about 20 minutes at 160 degrees centigrade, which is 320 Fahrenheit, roughly. Uh, do this. And then, when I get it out, I'm going to put more cheese on the top and pop it under the grill for maybe five minutes. But let's have a look at it then. To be fair, it's had about half an hour. Let's have a look. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I'm still going to put it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think it is going to be good. It's just getting it out of here. If you've got fillings, watch out for the foil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Right, I'm going to say, if I do it again, I'm not going to put the cheese on the top, I don't think. What do you think, Jack? Yeah. Although I'm saying that. This is real cooking, by the way. This is not scripted. We've never done this before. Look at that. That's pretty, pretty darn good. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna now sprinkle some more cheese on. Cause it needs more cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and now a bit of cheddar. I've heated up the grill, just hot. So I'm now just gonna melt this cheese on top of it. And then we'll get it out and have a look then. See you in a minute, friends. Right friends, so here we have it. Let's see what happens. I'll just go straight in here. So my idea then was that there'd be like a naked bit between everyone so you end up with like a, a sandwich. But look, it's gone nice and crisp. We've got all the ham and the, I'm probably gonna burn my mouth here, but. Oh, mm. oh man. That is unbelievable. That is so unbelievable. It's absolutely amazing. The cheese sauce, it's like sticky. The dough of the bread is sticky. Friends, look, I know it was a bit of a weird video, I suppose, I don't know. Well, maybe it won't. Who cares? Have a go at this, this is beautiful. Have a go, bang some tomatoes in or something like that. Honestly, it's beautiful. Enjoy it, friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye, friends. We're going to eat our tea.